Welcome to Crypto Coins, where we review the best coins for you. How's it going, my friends? Welcome back to Crypto Coins. My name is Freddie Colton, and today we're going to be talking about Zoids Wild NFT Arena. Uh, this one was really fun. I actually have been playing the game for a while, and this is going to be more of a gameplay um, and more of a game review, really, for me just playing it real time and you experiencing it with me. Um, and of course, my young co-host Catmantha Jones here plays with me as well. Um, please keep in mind, though, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Purely just a crypto geek who loves to discuss this kind of thing. So with that out of the way. Please don't invest in something just because I talk about it, but of course to make sure to do a modicum of research before making any investment in your life. And with that out of the way, my friends, um, the cool thing is that it is a free to play game and I was, you're able to actually get like five free sets of cards. And so it's, it's a lot of fun. I definitely recommend at least checking it out. It was just to download, sign in, you know, a little sign up stuff. Uh, this project is Certic audited by the way, just to kind of put that out there. And I'm going to keep this a little bit more brief because I do want to focus on the gameplay heavily in this one. So just to show you a little bit about them, uh, we've got the, um, Zoids wild NFT arena here on medium.com. We've got their YouTube page as well, where they posted a lot of cool stuff you can kind of actually see some of what the gameplay looks like on here as well as a great concept video that i was checking out also um you can kind of get the gist of it from those little shots as well just a very cinematic something super cool um if you're interested in entering, there are three days left in the Zoids Wild NFT Arena Second Airdrop Limited Edition Gill Raptor, um, which uh, I did actually get to use one of them. The the Raptors are the best. They are, I mean, so cool, and they like they duplicate. You know, one of my favorite was the Raptor that duplicates. Um, so definitely very very rare cards to have in a game like this, and at such a low star level. So you can actually play for also twenty thousand USDT on the Frontier Test if you want to play in the test. Uh, of the group, you just have to download the game on there. Uh, there are airdropping limited edition NFT cards as well, so you can do all of these different ways to actually enter for points, which are all really easy, including surveys, retweeting, following, joining on YouTube, just stuff like that. Uh, then we've got our tw uh, Twitter right here. Now, Twitter, they're keeping a lot of stuff up to date, as well as Discord, which is the next thing I'm going to show you. But Twitter and their Discord are the ways to keep up to date. They're doing a lot of the announcements through here on Discord. And definitely, these are the places to keep up with if you're interested in kind of keeping up with what's going on on the project. And I'll definitely tell you, I'm very fascinated by this one. This project has really impressed me a lot. Um, then we, just to kind of show you, so you, you'll set up your MetaMask essentially wallet on there to actually be able to earn the NFTs and the crypto, uh, the different rewards as well. So the top 3000 players will be rewarded. And what I think is awesome is 3000 instead of just like one person getting rewards, you can actually get rewards all the way down to three bucks, but still, you know, lots more people earn rewards as opposed to, excuse me, as opposed to people, you know, one person winning all of it. Right. Um, and basically just these are a lot of the details about the project as well if you're interested in the specifics a little more information on all of these different links i've sent you they've got these great videos for the the project as well to show off things um show you how they are and they're really great like the the, the creatures come out of the cards and they're alive i mean they're so cool like this is i love sonic bird i, I love a lot of these gino spino i mean how cool looking are these designs and just intimidating style laser like laser a tri triceratops i mean that's the thing like they're so creatively thought out uh gatling wolf or excuse me gatling fox is uh another big one i wolf and fox i'm a, I'm a smash bros player but um yeah so you can see gatling fox as well uh, Zoids NFT cards, so these are the game distinct two types of cards, units, and skills, and in total the game will feature over 200 cards, so um, the units and the skills of course are different, basically the creatures and essentially like cards that will bo boost them or hurt your enemy, um, like like sort of trap cards in a way to be honest with you, um, but their own, I mean the ideas are so unique in this game to be very honest with you, and there's a lot of great concept art as well, and the styles is beautiful, and the the animations are gorgeous but my friends i'm actually going to wrap it here so i can go over to the video part of it of me playing because it's going to be quite a little bit so i will see you there in a moment all right my friends let us get into some of this gameplay the zoids wild um so you can actually i'm going to start the battle in a second you can see the frontier season three days um and a, a lot of the stuff i'll have talked about in the video the big reward pot here as well um then you can check rankings deck missions so essentially go through 
create your deck using your own cards, essentially. So create a specific card deck, go through using your own uh, whatever you have, essentially. There, there you go, shows you perfectly how to do that. I currently don't have cards of my own, but uh, just kind of want to show you how to do it like that. Then you can buy cards as well if you're interested. So you can see the standard pack selling in 10. So uh, let's see, so it says free 5 of 5, so let's try... Let's there you go. That looks like a rare one. Nice. So you see there's so many different types as well. Yeah, I'm just gonna kinda go to skip through just so I'm not don't spend my entire time. And young Cat Mantha Jones has come to join us in our gameplay. Uh, let's see here. Let's keep going. Get all five of them and set up a deck. All right. No crazy rares right there. Let's give me a big super rare. There we go. I want this guy. Here's my rare right here. I'll take that. I like it. That is Hunter Wolf Sukuyomi. Um. And a lot of these cards have different effects, different things that they do for you. All right, great. So let's try making a deck here real quick. Um, and I'm not going to spend as much time as I probably should on it, but let's put in. Let's see, I want to like I want to go there. These guys look pretty good. Um, looks like some of these are locked. I don't know if that locks them into your deck, I guess. So, a 30 card deck. So that's actually mostly what I have, I believe. Let's see. I'm gonna double up on those. Alright, we're hitting 30 close than I thought. So we'll do that. I know this card, that card helped me out, it gives you extra mana. I've played this already, by the way, with like a, a free deck, free to play deck. Alright. Okay, so I'm actually gonna single up on this guy and this guy and get, just to do a little more expansiveness, right? I'm gonna get this guy and I like you. You look like the uh, Power Rangers Megazord. Oh, wait, I have eight left? Sorry, let's see. Um. I'm silly, I just miscounted. This card, okay, cool. Um, this guy, and you, and who's my number 30? You're gonna be my number 30. Beautiful, card deck one. We've got our first deck set. Nice battle. Going through the tutorial while we play. All right, my turn. I have one mana, so I don't think I can summon either of them yet. So I have to end my turn. And that's uh, not technically called mana. I uh, that's just what I, as a gamer, call it in my own brain. So uh, you see, you build up one at, one at a time. All right. So this guy. Um, so two ally units receive 13 HP in your hand. Hand invokes when the card is released from the hand. Okay, so it's not going to help me at the moment, but it's going to give himself 13. So I can play this level 3 fella here. Let's see what this guy does, though. So, he doesn't seem to have anything. Invokes when in the card duplicate itself. Ooh! I would like that. Very much so. And then once I end the turn, this guy's going to attack. They they can't attack the first turn. But he'll attack on the, once you end your turn. The fight phase happens.
No worries, boys. No worries. Stand strong, my friends. Let's see. Deal damage to the attacker cannot be accumulated. Um, char enable the unit to attack while turn on. Se yeah, you know what? This guy put him right here in the middle too. Beautiful. And we are going to go ahead and end the turn and allow my boys. As you can see, my guy can attack first time. Okay, does that show, Babel? You can see, enable the unit to attack on turn it was summoned. Which, by the way, that's great timing for me to have been explaining that point. Turn this down a little bit, so I'm a little louder. Oh, test! There we go. <laughs> Alright, and turn. Oh, excuse me. I almost ended my own turn. Um, yeah, perfect. So dissolve on poison. See, 50 damage per turn cannot be accumulated. Deal 25 poison to all. Absolutely. <laughs> Here, there you go. Let's go. I'm choosing. I chose my cards very well. Poison is so far my favorite. Alright, I'm gonna have enough to ch summon both of these guys, so I think that's what I'm gonna do in less. 15 damage per turn. Yeah, okay, so he poisons enemies also. He's a spider, which is really cool. Spy death, by the way. That's what the spider is in this game, which is so cool. I, I love spy death. A spy death saved my life earlier when I was playing. And take this. That's what I'm talking about. I destroyed this. This tutorial has nothing on me. Alright, alright. So I can only start out with this one, which is okay. Go for it, pal. Triggers before attack, noon triggers before attack. I think it'll help. I think this will work. Don't, don't, don't take him down. We're okay. We're okay. All right. Now here's the choice: select ally unit eleven attack, or invo uh, invokes when the card is released. Two ally units receive. So I'm gonna do this because I'm actually gonna upgrade him right now. Then I'm gonna wait a moment. Because this guy's going to help two of my people, so... Oh, I don't like that. Punky Johnson. Let's see. Um, disable the unit for the... Deal stun, one to four enemy units, okay. I'm going to actually put this guy out. And the strategy is to put Cabtor out after Raptor, because Raptor duplicates himself. Raptor is so far one of my favorite cards, actually, on the, in the game. He's done so well for me. Because he duplicates himself at such a low, like, uh, a low cost to yourself. Okay, um, now this is interesting. Raptoria, uh, triggers two allies. Okay, so I'm actually going to do this because that only triggers if he were to fall. I'm going to do this. Bolster up my allies. Um, I have two left, but I can't use it, which is no problem, because I'm going to end the turn, and I'm going to hurt my enemy. Oh, it seems that I was poisoned. Receive 15 per turn. Cannot be accumulated. I see. See, this way you got to watch your enemy. Uh, receive 10 per turn. Let's see. Repair. Okay, interesting. Um, I have five, so I can't do both. Let's see, deal stun. So I'm actually going to send out Raptoria. I think now is the time. And next round, let's see who I draw first. Oh, this is a good card. That gives him more mana, basically. What? Uh, uh, and it's not technically mana, as I said, but a way you could think about it, essentially. Ooh, okay. This changes it all. 
target unit to attack on its turn it was summoned? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have you deal with these guys. And attack. That's what I'm talking about. Five damage chaos uh, to the selected enemy. So let's see, and that's yeah, okay. And then let's see, I can still play you, can't I? Yep. And they are all stunned, and I believe. That means I will... Yeah, perfect. Right back to you, my friend. Well, I'm just gonna play both. Alright, and... Now, gentlemen, take form. What can I tell you, my friends? I am a gaming master. It's just how it is. Well, that's actually where I'm going to have to wrap it up so this video is not way too long. Thank you, as always, for coming by, and I will see you in the next one.